What's up, Fight Fans? Thank you, as always, for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Whoa, what a fight. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, all right, where do we start? Let's start with the scorecard. Split draw. What's everyone's thinking? Um, I have to be honest with you. I didn't score the fight. I was just watching each round. I was so mesmerized. I didn't actually write a scorecard down to add up. So I was thinking Tyson Fury was winning the fight on a jab. But then when the knockdown came in round 12, I thought, Oof, you might not get it. Two knockdowns away from home, it's going to be difficult. And the funny thing is about both knockdowns, especially the last one, you could have scored the last one a 10-9. With most knockdowns, it's a 10-8. But he rocked Wilder in the 12th. You could have made that a 10-9. But it's difficult for a fighter to win away from home uh, when you've been knocked down twice against the champion, right? You're not talking about a vacant title here. You're going against the champion and you've been knocked down twice, right? And you've not really wobbled Wilder. I thought he was winning it on a jab. But some judges like to see more action than that. So I'm not too displeased about a split draw. I can't lie to you, though, people. I thought Fury nicked it based on the way they read out the judges' scorecards. I mean, I think I can't remember who had it for who. But all I know is it came down to Phil Edwards. Phil Edwards. And I thought, oh, my God, Fury's going to nick this. Surely the Brit is going to give it to Tyson Fury. And he gave it as 113, 113. Couldn't believe it. I really can't. Um, credit to Tyson Fury. Fucking hell. I mean, I mean, Sefa Safiri, Pianetta, Wilder. And you go and put that kind of performance on. It was, at stages, a bit reminiscent of Joe Calzaghe, Jeff Lacey, where Jeff Lacey's the stronger man swinging away and Joe Calzaghe just avoiding them and almost laughing, hands behind the back, playing possum with him. Fantastic performance. The jab was working. I did wonder if Tyson Fury hurt his right hand because um, Ben Davidson, his trainer, kept saying, you're just going to win this with your left. And I thought, oh, is there an issue with the right? Is he scared to throw it? I don't know. I didn't think it was the case going forward, but I think he mentioned it in round six or seven that you're just winning this with your left hand. And I thought, is there an issue with the right hand? And I watched the next round and he didn't really throw the right hand the next round. I think when he got knocked down in the ninth, it was almost a case of, OK, we just got to start throwing now. And he started to throw the right. But... Fantastic performance. I mean, what more can you say about Tyson Fury? I mean, 400 pounds a year ago. Two glorified sparring sessions. You come back, you fight arguably the number one heavyweight in the world, disputed with Anthony Joshua, away from home. And for, I don't know, six or seven rounds in that fight, you embarrass him, right? Wilder was swinging away like a guy that really couldn't box. And Fury, some stages, embarrassed him. But... Wilder has the equaliser, right? And we saw it tonight. When that right or left lands, it's lights out, people. It's lights out. How Tyson Fury got up from that 12th round knockdown, I have no idea. And he's a bit lucky, you know, because most referees would have seen the way he was kind of lied down, hand over his head and thought, you know what, fight's over. But the ref asked him, are you okay? He kind of said, yep, you know what, he is. And then his power of recovery is just ridiculous. It was almost as though he was like, all right, let's do this again. It, it, it's so incredible, I can't explain. What this does do, though, let's be honest, it freezes that Anthony Joshua for at least another 12 months because the rematch is definitely going to happen. It should happen in Manchester. Fury should have that rematch in Manchester. It will be difficult because of economics, right? It makes more sense and more money, I guess, to have it in America. But, I mean, that's Anthony Joshua done for April. I mean, that means it looks like Anthony Joshua's probably going to fight, I don't know, Jarrell Miller or, or, or White. Or, or maybe you sick, he's not going to fight Wilder Fury. But what it does do if you're Eddie Hearn, you're not going to be happy about it, is all eyes now will be on Wilder Fury. No one is really going to be talking about Joshua. The numbers will go down, trust me, when we talk about Joshua's pay-per-view, Joshua's attendance, because all the hype now will be on Wilder Fury. Fury knows how to sell a fight better than anybody. And he, even his post-fight interviews were phenomenal, fantastic. Both of them kind of goaded Joshua, calling him a chicken, chicken, chicken. And... Look, I'm a big Joshua fan, but I just thought it was fantastic. I really do. Um, again, I'm not too upset with the result. I will need to look at it again and watch it again and maybe score it properly. But it's difficult when you've been knocked down in the ninth and you've been knocked down in the 12th. Those are 10-8 scores. And I guess you have to probably give Wilder maybe one or two rounds somewhere. It's difficult to win away from home. But Fury still keeps his unbeaten record. Wilder still keeps his unbeaten record. And they will roll the dice again. Fingers crossed it's in Manchester so the Brits can fill that place out and make it as hostile as possible. And I'm thinking it's going to be, you know what Frank should do, in fact? If I'm Frank Warren and I'm Shelley Finkel and I'm Al Heyman, what you should do to get Eddie Hearn, and that's what this is about right now, people, put Wilder Fury 2 on the same night that Joshua fights. That fight, 
I'm telling you, will do more pay-per-view buys than Joshua. I know Joshua has the casual market, but trust me, they'll build it properly again. They'll build this rematch again. Fury will sell it. Wilder will sell it. Wilder will come to the UK. They'll do the world tour. And depending upon who Joshua can fight, look, if Joshua has to fight White, Jarrell Miller, or Usyk, do not tell me that Fury versus Wilder 2 isn't bigger than those. Surely it is. Surely it is. But again, look, not to harp on too much about Fury, but I mean, pfft, he talks about this Gypsy King fighting man thing. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, whatever. No, this kid really is a Gypsy King fighting man. He really is. You're talking two years out of the ring. You're talking blowing up to 400 pounds. You're talking all the shit that he's been through. And he put on that performance. He put on that performance. Credit to you, sir. Credit to you.